my name's Spencer and welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I checked in with you all. Let's just say the past few months have been a wild ride. <laughs> so I am finally, finally uploading my October bullet journal setup. I know this is horrendously late. Well, technically I am still uploading it in October. So is it really late by like calendar standards or just like by youtube standards and um, i don't know most people are uploading their november bullet journals at the moment and i'm uploading my october one <laughs> but anyway back to this bullet journal setup i decided this month that i wanted to do something a little bit different um i didn't fancy doing anything spooky yet and i have been weirdly addicted to strawberries recently I have no idea why, strawberries just taste amazing to me at the moment. Morrison's do this amazing vegan strawberry ice cream. It's like raspberry ruffle, but strawberry. And oh, it's just chef's kiss. It's so good. So that's kind of what inspired the, uh, the theme for this month. I am, as always, starting with my cover page. This time I was inspired by something that I saw on Pinterest, I believe. I will link the inspo in the description down below. So I'm starting off just using my Spectrum Noir art liner in 0.1 to draw the outlines of all the strawberries. And then just like the inspo pick, I am going to be colouring them in slightly adjacent to the outline. So they're kind of coloured in, I don't know how to describe this, but yeah. That, that's what I did. And I used two different colours. I used a brightish red and then a lighter pink just to have some like different colours and such on there. Doing the strawberry shapes was pretty easy. I just did kind of flattened heart shapes and then just kind of winged it with like the leaf top shapes. I did go in and use my Sakura Jelly Roll pens in 08 to do little strawberry seeds just on the red strawberries to have a little bit more difference in there and I thought it would show up better um, than on the lighter coloured strawberries because of the way I had to sketch out this page so getting all of the outline of the strawberries and then the coloured outside the lines shapes of the strawberries I couldn't really sketch out the title of October without it getting really confusing and probably having to erase the title several times and with it take all my strawberries so i just did the strawberries for now and i'm gonna come back and write in the header in a little bit so because i was too scared to try and do the bounce calligraphy over the cover page i decided to move on to my quote page and this time i decided to go for something cute that just made me smile so i went for eat drink and be scary <laughs> I just realised that I totally forgot to say before that I am tying in my strawberry theme with the Halloween theme by making my strawberries vampire strawberries. <laughs> the illustration for this quote page was a giant strawberry, kind of in a like kawaii style, that I decided to give fangs. <laughs> so it's a vampire strawberry. And what what does a vampire strawberry drink? I imagine that it's strawberry milk. It makes sense, right? Or like strawberry smoothie? Probably a strawberry smoothie, actually. Come to think of it, but I digress. Again, I was trying out doing bounce calligraphy for this setup, which is something I am really not comfortable with, but I am trying my best. So I did sketch this one out beforehand to try and get the shapes right. I think I did an okay job. I really do like that I gave it the lighter pink drop shadow. I think it just helped tie in the quote page and the cover page together. And then I spent an ungodly amount of time doing all of the little seed lines on the strawberry. I actually don't want to talk about how long that took me. <laughs> The next thing I did was the month title and this I just decided to kind of freehand. I wrote in a very loose guide for it but even that guide was freehanded. I didn't draw out all the different shapes or anything, I just gave it a go and actually I, I think it looks alright. So the next page is obviously my monthly setup. I'm doing my usual layout for this which is just a calendar style grid going across the two pages. I believe this one is five dots across and six dots down. 
I find this size works well enough for me to fit in everything I need to. I'm using that same pink marker from before. I pretty much did this whole setup with the same couple of coloured markers and a few fine liners. So obviously this grid spacing that I have leaves a little bit of space on the side and sometimes I use this to write to-do lists or goals and sometimes I just do doodles in it and this month I decided to just do doodles because it was making me happy. <laughs> so I found this little cute illustration of some strawberry milk and I decided that would be perfect for my vampire strawberries. So again I'm just using that 0.1 fine liner to do all of the line work and then I'll go in with markers to colour it in in a minute. I decided to put another quote on this page as well. Um, again just tying in that spooky cute theme um, and this one is have a fantastic month. Is that what I wrote? I can't even remember now. I've now got to wait whilst I watch this video. Yeah. Have a fantastic month and I coloured in the fantastic in red and then did I leave the pink? Yeah. So just like the cover page, I used the pink to colour in most of the bounce lettering, but I did use the red to write fantastic because I thought it was more fitting. I couldn't quite decide what I wanted to do on this spread colour wise, so I ummed and ahed a lot about what I would colour, what I would leave blank, how I would colour it and all of that. In the end I decided to go for the lightest pink in my Crayola Super Tip Pastel collection and just colour in all the boxes that colour. Uh, initially I left the months that aren't actually in October blank but I do go back in and colour those in fully in a minute. I was having a bit of trouble with my hands when I was recording which is why I'm kind of holding my pens in weird ways and flipping my bullet journal more than I would usually so I apologise if any of the shorts are a bit confusing or it looks like I've dislocated three of my fingers to try and hold the pen. That was not the case. <laughs> I was just having to adjust how I held the pen so I could do this comfortably. I also apologise about this totally unesthetic shot. <laughs> I was completely in the zone when I was making this, like I was having so much fun. Um, I totally forgot to monitor what was in the shot or not. So yeah, that's why we have this shot with my phone in it. <laughs> I, I can only apologise. Along the bottom edge of my calendar grid, I decided to do like this drip pattern. A little like how you might do it in more spookier themes, like blood drips and things like that, blood splatter. I decided to do that, but make it the strawberry milk color. Cause I didn't want to actually be gory, but I thought it was kind of cutesy, spooky, creepy, weird, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how well this actually worked, but it does make me happy to look at it, so. And it made me happy to make it, and that's that's all that's actually important, so. I did add some extra vampire strawberries up in this top corner, because it was looking a little empty, and I wanted to have my cutie creatures up in the corner colour in my strawberry milk bottle. I did what I've done for most of this and used that same red and green and the white gel pen to create the little seeds. I did use a different pink to colour in this milk, mostly because I thought there was already a lot of the other pinks on the page. So this one's a little more peachy. It didn't come out exactly how I thought it would, but it's, it's good enough. I like it. It doesn't look, it actually looks a lot better on camera than it does in person. You guys get the better version. <laughs> I wanted to do something a little different when it came to colouring in the like bottle top. This design kind of reminded me of the like cloths that you would put over jam jars and things like that. So I wanted to use my washi tape to kind of recreate that and I had the spotted one so it, it was perfect. <sighs> I really need to invest in a craft knife. It would make this a whole lot easier. Like I could actually just cut around instead of having to do all this drawing and redrigging and retrigging, rejigging and things like that. So yeah, I do make this process look overly complicated, but it's much easier if you have a craft knife and can just cut it straight onto the page rather than having to draw around it and do it like this. But I am so happy with the final result that I, I'm not even mad about it. I'm not, I'm not mad. 
And with that done, it is time to go on to my tracker pages. Again, I'm sticking with a tried and true method for my habit trackers. Nothing fancy this time. I kind of wanted to go back to basics and things that I knew worked for me, just because the past few months have been a bit mad. I need some like familiarity with my routine and such. I decided to decorate by doing the strawberry runners for the borders with, of course, little vampire strawberries on them. If you get bitten by a vampire strawberry, does that mean you turn into a strawberry? Put your answer in the comments. If you were bitten by a vampire strawberry, would you become a vampire? Like a human vampire who just had to drink lots of smoothies? Or would you be, would you turn into a strawberry that was a vampire and had to eat other strawberries? Let me know down in the comments below. But anyway, back to the habit trackers. <laughs> uh, I just drew out six mini trackers. I didn't bother numbering them all. And I used the green to go in and write all of the headers. And I'll just color in the boxes as the month goes on. So the next thing I did was my mood and pain tracker. I've been trying different ways to record my mood and record my pain. But honestly, this split page one is the best way for me to do it. You know, it's not as creative and not as decorative as other versions, but it's what works for me and that's what's most important. So I put the headers at the top, again, bounce calligraphy, and I put numbers down the length of the page for each day and I split the page in half. And then from that halfway point, I will draw out, I think I did strawberries this month. From that center line, for mood, the strawberries would go from right to left and the more there were, so like closer to the number they were, the better mood I was in. And then with the pain, it goes from left to right. So the closer to the number, the more pain I was in. I hope that makes sense. But if you guys wanna see a finished version of this to kind of show it more accurately, I am more than happy to upload an image to my Instagram which has changed by the way, it is now just Spencer Makes Stuff. Spencer Rose Creations found, like felt way too formal, so I've also changed my YouTube as well. It's just more casual, makes me feel better. That's all I'm gonna say about it for now, but yes. So next I am doing an extra little spread, which is an activity tracker. I know I said I was sticking to familiar spreads this month and going with my tried and true methods of such. I used to do an activity tracker a lot and then I stopped using it so much, but I'm putting it back in just to try and help me keep track of what I'm doing and see at the end of the month what things I was able to do and what things I wasn't able to do and how frequently I was able to do them. Hopefully that makes sense. So each day of the month has an entire row of the page and two rows down to create what will be two by two boxes that I can fill in with the doodles that you see on the Dutch door to show which activities I did that day. And that includes things like chores as well as fun stuff. So my final spread that I have to show you is my weekly setup. I didn't do a faux Dutch door for this week because it was only three days and three days fit perfectly onto this page to have each day and then a section for the to-do list. I did more of this um, strawberry milk blood dripping box. I don't really know how to describe it. I know Amanda Rachley did something similar with her October theme last year, I think it was. For this one, I did the outline in red and then colored it in with pink just to create a little bit of like dimension such and I think it looked better that way. And I used that strawberry runner design to um, separate off different sections of the page as well. By the way, I used that darker pink from the pastel collection again to pastel, ugh, pastel collection again just because I thought it looked better with the red outline and then went in with that gel pen to create the highlights. And here is the final flip through. We have my cover and quote page, my monthly calendar page, my habit tracker and my mood and pain tracker. Like I said I will put a picture up on my Instagram to show you what it actually looks like as a filled in tracker. We have my activity tracker and my weekly spread. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
Uh, if you did like it, feel free to give it a like. And if you're new here, hit subscribe so we can hang out some more. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.